I really feel like I need to clarify some things because there's somebody that has been spreading lies about Chickenlandia. I just hope you guys know that I would oh. never, ever, ever lie to you. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I'm a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. Okay, so last year we had an employee. She was a groundskeeper here and she did a pretty good job, but for a number of reasons we had to let her go and she became disgruntled. And of course, I totally understand that. I know it's hard to get fired, no matter what the reason is. But this person then ended up going to some like documentary film production company, and they tried to do this expose about Chickenlandia and these supposed things that I'm trying to keep from the public, which is of course completely ridiculous. Can you tell me the first time you saw the monster? Do you want to start there? Is there a more appropriate place you think we should start? Well, yeah, I think it, I think it makes more sense to start at the beginning. I mean, let's face it, there's all kinds of strange and odd things going around in Chickenlandia. She even went so far as to say that there was something off with my chickens. <laughs> like they were evil or something, or they were from outer space. I don't know what that was about. There was one time when Kiki was like a little bit bigger than she normally is, but it wore off after a couple days and then she was completely back to normal. So the main claim that she had was that there was this supposed Chickenlandia monster and we made her like try and catch it or watch it or something. <laughs> I was told cameras were installed to try and capture it. They asked me to install cameras all over the property. But mainly they seemed really interested in the one camera in the chicken yard. And it turned out that the Chickenlandia monster was literally a moth. I'm not kidding, it was a moth and she was completely terrified of it. Anyway, we did actually have our lawyers give her some paperwork. That didn't go over very well at all. And honestly, I don't even really know what happened to her. I haven't seen her ever since. So in true Chickenlandia form, I have just kind of dusted this stuff off. Haters have got to hate. Yesterday, I just, I went and got my toenails done. It's a beautiful red color. I've got my sandals on today and you know, it, it's all good. It's all good in Chickenlandia. Ah! <laughs>